I'm Ethan Stein in West Palm Beach here at the Convention Center where former President Donald Trump spoke for almost two hours about a variety of topics focusing most of his comments on Israel and the state of Iran. He started off the speech by talking about his primary opponents briefly. Then he talked about his administration's efforts to move the United States Embassy to Jerusalem, recognizing Israel's sovereignty in the Golan Heights and leading talks to get more countries in the Middle East to establish diplomatic relations with Israel. He also blamed Joe Biden's administration for the attack, saying he loosened sanctions on Iran and spent money to get U.S. hostages back from the country. And it's used for exactly what you're watching right now on television and reading in the papers. The State Department says no funds for those hostages were used in this attack because they are still frozen. Democratic Congresswoman Lois Frankel sent us a written statement before the speech. Saying Donald Trump appears more interested in continuing to spread hateful, extreme MAGA ideology. Matt Gates attended tonight's event. He's received one of the biggest ovations on the night after helping to end Representative Kevin McCarthy's speakership. During his remarks that lasted almost two hours, Trump did not make any comments about the fight to become the Speaker of the House. It's worth noting his endorsed candidate, Jim Jordan, did not win the Republican nomination for the gavel. In West Palm Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.